Breaking News. Welcome to today's headline. World Evil Leaders Task Southeast Governors Politicians on Unamde Kano's release. World Igbo leaders task Southeast governors. Politicians on Unamde Kano's release. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. The Igbo World Union, IWU, has called on the Southeast governors to boldly take a step and approach the presidency for the release of Unam Dekanu. The leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Hypob. It also pleaded with the Independent National Electoral Commission, HINEC, to ensure that willing and eligible voters are not disenfranchised in the forthcoming general elections. President General of the group, His Imperial Majesty Meshak Nanta said this is an interview with newsmen in Umaya, capital of Abia State. Nanta also appealed to President Muhammad Buhari to extend his milk of human kindness to Indibo by applying a political solution to resolve Kano's case. The group affirmed that though an unconditional release of Nam de Kano runs contrary to the doctrine of separation of powers between the executive and judiciary, President Buhari could use his prerogative to release Kano from detention. Nanta regretted that the continued detention of Kano had introduced the monstrous and retrogressive seat at home order with the attendant massive deterioration of security situation and debilitation of the Southeast economy. Also, the Abia State Governorship Candidate of African Democratic Congress, ADC, and founder, Vision Africa International, Bishop Sondel Undukwo Onoha, called on the federal government to seek a political solution in Unamdekano's case to reduce tension in the Southeast. Bishop Onoha, who was a member of the 2021 Southeast delegation led by First Republic Minister Chief Amechi Umbazuli Ike, to see President Muhammad Buhari appealed that the case of the proscribed IPOB leader be given a political solution. The Igbo World Union, IWU, has called on the Southeast governors to boldly take a step and approach the presidency for the release of Namdekanu, the leader of the proscribed indigenous peoples of Biafra, Ipo. It 
It also pleaded with the Independent National Electoral Commission, HINEC, to ensure that willing and eligible voters are not disenfranchised in the forthcoming general election. President General of the Group, His Imperial Majesty Meshaku Nanta, said this in an interview with newsman in Umaya, capital of Abia State. Nanta also appealed to President Muhammad Buhari to extend his milk of human kindness to Indibu by applying a political solution to resolve Kano's case. The group affirmed that though an unconditional release of Unam de Kano runs contrary to the doctrine of separation of powers between the executive and judiciary, President Buhari could use his prerogative to release Kano from detention. Onanta regretted that the continued detention of Kanu had introduced the demonstrators and retrogressive seats at home, other with the attendant massive deterioration of security situation and debilitation of the Southeast economy. Also, the Abia State Governorship candidate of African Democratic Congress, ADC, and founder, Vision Africa International, Bishop Sunday Undukuo Onuoha called on the federal government to seek a political solution in Unamdekano's case to reduce tension in the Southeast. Bishop Bonoa, who was a member of the 2021 Southeast delegation, led by First Republic Minister Chief Amechi Umbazulike, to see President Muhammad Buhari happy that the case of the proscribed IPOB leader be given a political solution. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news.